come up here with Matt and we're going to talk about some positional shooting. So something a lot of people don't consider when wearing armor is how it's going to affect them from different shooting positions. Um, if your armor is not properly fitted, there's a high likelihood it's going to come up, bust you in the jaw. You're going to be unable to properly weld that stock to the shoulder and it might even be pinching you on your sides. Um, what goes hand in hand with that is pouch selectment. Um, if you have if you have double stack mags coming way out, you're going to, you might be unable to access them from a prone shooting position or even be able, unable to get a proper prone shooting position because of the amount of space it's taking up on your body. All right, so now we're going to work Matt through some of these different shooting positions so that he can kind of test his armor fit and make sure that nothing's going to prohibit him from getting these positions or accessing his equipment or that his rifle doesn't get tangled up and that he also has good cheek weld. So Matt's going to get in a standard shooting position. It's a normal standing position. And he's going to go ahead and shoot our target downrange a couple times. All right, now Matt's going to go ahead and get into a standard kneeling position. This is an unsupported position. The thing to really pay attention to here is to make sure that you can still get a good cheek weld and that you can still get the stock of your, of your rifle to your shoulder. All right, now Matt's going to get into a supported kneeling position. Now, supported kneeling position, the most important things you're looking for here is that the carrier is not going to pinch you or rub you or kind of start to shave or anything like that, and that it doesn't prohibit you from getting your arm out as a supported position on your knee, and that it doesn't prohibit you, it's not too tight to the point where you can't sit down on your rear heel. Going to go ahead and fire a couple shots. All right, now Matt's going to get to a prone position. Now the important things to pay attention to here in a prone position is one, that his body is as behind the rifle as possible, and two, that and then the carry is gonna affect that a little bit. You know, it's not like when I'm not wearing a carry, I can get directly behind the rifle, but when you've got a carrier on of some kind, it is gonna kind of make you kind of force your body around that rifle. But what we wanna make sure we can do is that the pouches up front are getting stuck or snagged on the ground, and that they're also not prohibiting you from getting low enough to be able to get behind the rifle. So go ahead and fire a couple rounds. Excellent. All right, now, Matt's got a situation where he's gonna have to reload, so having access to those magazines from the prone position, really any position is critical, and something that we're testing here with our carrier. All right now I'm gonna let Matt work his way from the ground all the way back to the standing. that doesn't have access to a range like this all the time, you can still practice all these drills dry. So you want to remove all the ammunition from the area, put whatever gear on that you're going to put on, get your weapon and practice malfunctions, reloads, and transitions from all the different positions you saw shooting in here today. There's really no exercise that we've done, you know, in this entire video series that can't be done, uh, you know, in the comfort of your own home or your garage or your shop or, or wherever kind of space you have access to. You know, put up a target so you can practice getting your sight picture and practice getting a good cheek weld. Obviously, like Matt said, just make sure it's completely unloaded and ammunition's out of the area. 
but there's you know you can do all this dry and in fact we encourage people to do it dry because a it's less expensive and uh and B, and no practice. It's it's better, you know, better a little bit of practice doing it dry and getting those muscle memories down and understanding how all this stuff works before we go out and start, you know, sending lead down range if we don't have to.